So today I'm going to talk about the oversupply and under demand for silver. And I went to a coin show this weekend and there were more dealers than there were customers. It was absolutely crazy how much silver I seen. More silver, I've seen more silver uh, at this past coin show than I've seen since uh, pre, you know, 2011 spikes. So there was a large amount of silver to be had and there just wasn't that many people interested in buying it. So I think that um, silver could go down from here. I just think that right now being as, it, as it's the middle of summer, people are spending their money on other stuff. They're um, pursuing other hobbies. I think that silver could go down to uh, the $17 mark. And uh, I actually am hoping that it does. It would be a nice opportunity to put some more away. But anyways, uh, I was more picky at this coin show since there was more silver to be had and there was less consumers to try to buy it. So supply and demand, I felt uh, it was a good time to nab up on some cheap silver. And this is a bar that I picked up. This is a Glens and Rhodes Incorporated Refiners of Precious Metals. And this company is still in business, but uh, I looked on their website and they do not have this bar on there. I looked on eBay, there isn't any of these bars on there. Um, there hasn't been for the past 60 days, so I'm guessing it's it's a harder one to obtain. But uh, it's a pretty neat little bar and I'm guessing that someone out there would pay a high premium for this. Um, if you find a bar from a, a refinery that's not well known or you never heard of chances are that someone out there is willing to pay a high premium for it so this is the type of stuff that I'm looking out for I'm gonna be a lot more picky when I go to those shows just because you know there are deals to be had you don't wanna buy something and then uh, potentially lose out on a really good deal because you spent your money on something else well anyways thanks for watching